There is no trick. There is no hack. There is no secret sauce to getting to that next level. Coach Barrick here, Equity Podcast, giving you tools to be fit for life. Most people are trying to get somewhere. They're trying to level up in their career, in their health, in their fitness, um, in their hobby, whatever it is. And, you know, like I said on the top, there is no trick to it. We just have to do a couple things consistently. So that's what we're going to talk about. First thing is fundamentals. No matter what we're doing, there are basic fundamentals that you have to do in order to do that thing. And you hear stories about Kobe and Mike like going hard in practice, like treating practice almost harder than games on spending countless hours in the gym. And that's because they know that the fundamentals, when you're tired and you have those fundamentals, it's going to translate in the future to better results. We need to focus on the fundamentals. And the problem with fundamentals is that they're boring or it gets boring just like everything. So you have to be able to embrace the boring and the monotony of things. And that is why people don't have success in health and fitness all the time is because they start getting bored. They, they, do, they think, oh, it's this new thing, new fad, new fad. It, it's simple, fundamental things. Now, there are ways that we can help, help not get bored, taking group classes, doing different workouts every day, having a support system with you, having a coach, having accountability, all those things can help. And that's what we do. However, you have to be able to do that boring work and do it consistently over time, consistently over time. And that's how we get there. That's how you break through that plateau. That's how we get to that next level. The other thing, and this is along the same thing, it's the same ideas. There's fundamentals. When we are working on fundamentals, it's going to be ugly to start. When you first time you learn how to throw a ball, it is all over the place. You're throwing it straight at the ground. You start getting a little bit better, and then it throws all the way into the other direction over the person you're throwing to, over their head, out to the left, out to the right. But then over time, by doing it consistently, you start getting better. You get more consistent. It's the same thing in the gym. It's the same thing working out or same thing with nutrition. You're going to have some good ones in there, and then you know you might have some bad ones, but that's okay. We're going to get better. You have to be able to do just the small little stuff to start, and it might be a little bit ugly to start, but then we start getting better. We work towards better. And again, consistency. You have to do that consistently. You have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to fall down. If you're learning to walk on your hands, you're going to fall, and you have to be willing to fall. If we're learning how to... Um, uh, we're learning how to throw harder or, you know, back to that pitching analogy or that throwing analogy. If we're lear- trying to be a baseball pitcher, you need to be able to throw really fast. And when you first start throwing really fast, you're probably going to have very little control, but that's okay. Now we know, okay, that's what it feels like. Oh, that felt a little weird. That felt a lot different. And that's good. We want things to feel different. If it, if, if it always feels the same, you're not changing anything. The fundamentals are going to feel weird. And then they start feeling less weird over time. And it starts getting more and more consistent. Do the boring stuff. Start ugly. Get better. Be willing to fail and get better. If we're never failing, we're never getting better. We're not trying something new. We're not getting outside that comfort zone. We're not doing something that is going to get us better. Remember, think about the first time you stepped into the gym. Everything felt weird. It was uncomfortable. And then what happened? You kept with it, and it started feeling better. So the next one is goals. Everybody in professional sports has the same goal. So having a goal, you know, everybody wants to win the championship, right? If everybody has the same goal and not everybody gets it, that's not the determining factor. So we've talked about this before on our New Year's post when we start talking about goals for New Year's, and that's having process goals. All right, I want to lose 10 pounds. 
So I'm going to go to the gym three days a week, and I'm going to have a nutrition coach to help keeping me accountable. You, you do those, you're probably going to lose that 10 pounds. The likelihood is 99%, right? What are the processes you're going to do in order to get to where you want to get? I want to get better at basketball. Well, I'm going to start playing every other day for an hour. That's a great start. That's how you start getting better. That is your process. It's not, oh, I'm going to get better at basketball, and then you don't do anything about it. You need a process in order to reach that goal. And what is that thing? I just recently listened to something. I can't remember offhand who said it um, or where it was. Um, yeah, it's really bugging me. I can't think of where it, where it was. But the idea, and it's the same principle, it's just rewording it. And, you know, different cues. I can give somebody a cue in the gym and just say it in a different way. It's the same cue, just, you know, in different words. And it works. It might work for somebody, but not for the other one. So I'll try something else. So this is the same thing. And this is, what are you willing to sacrifice for your goal? Right? So um, I want to lose 10 pounds. So I'm going to sacrifice the time and money to come to the gym three days a week and have a nutrition coach to keep me accountable. That's a sacrifice that you're going to make. What are the processes and what are the sacrifices you're going to make in order to reach that goal that you want? I want to spend more time with my spouse. So I'm going to Sunday night. We're going to schedule something for that week. That's the process. What are you going to sacrifice? You're going to sacrifice spending 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out a good time and date. To, it might be a sacrifice is to spend money on a babysitter, right? What's that sacrifice you're going to make? Nutrition, I'm going to start meal prepping. Uh, my sacrifice is I'm going to take two hours on a Sunday in order to be ready for the week. What are those, you know, the, the, the greats, the Tom Brady's, what are they sacrificing? And then this leads me to balance, right? Michael Jordan, Kobe, all of these great people in their fields, how much did they have to sacrifice in order to be that great? Answer is a lot. And we're not judging if it's worth it or not. But for most of us, we want some balance in our life. We don't just want to be all in on this one thing. Yes, we want, our, we want the career. We want our family. We want to be healthy and fit. We want a little bit of all of that. And that's good. We're still going to have to sacrifice in some areas, right? If I want to be healthy and fit, I'm going to sacrifice not eating chocolate cake every day, not eating fast food every day limiting my portions, making sure I'm getting protein in. I want to be strong. I'm going to have to lift some weights. It's going to be hard. I'm going to have to do this on the weekend, right? But if you say family is important and all you're focusing on is your career and you're working when you're home, right? You might have to sacrifice that a little bit in order for family to be a priority. So we need to find balance. And there isn't a right or wrong answer. And there's also different seasons in life. Right? I might have been able to train for two hours a day, six days a week, before a child. And then afterwards, that might be really hard. Or maybe it's really important to me, or that's my career, and that's what I do now. Or that's what I, I still have to sacrifice to make that happen. What is... What are your values? What are your um, priorities? So we need to find that balance. And in order to find that balance, you have to have a conversation with yourself. You have to spend some time with yourself. You have to ask yourself some hard questions. What is important to me? What am I looking for? Is this goal what I want? Am I willing to sacrifice for that goal for what I need? Am I willing to sacrifice in order to reach that goal? Fundamentals, process goals, consistency, and then find a balance in that.
Thank you so much. I hope this helps. There is no secret sauce to reaching that next level. You have to do the small things consistently, and that's how you get there. Do the hard work. Hard work makes it worth it. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Everything worthwhile is hard. And that's okay because we do hard things. And that is going to get us to where we want to get. If you, if you think this might help somebody, please share it with them. If you liked it, please like it. We want more happy, healthy people in the world. And that's why we do this. We want happy, healthy people in the world so that they can do all the things in their life that they want to do. Thank you so much. Cheers.